Hello, how to solve this radical problem? We have square root of t power 3 and this equals square root of 3 power 3. If you have square root of a, this equals a to the power of 1 over 2. So, the square root of t power 3 is the same thing as t to the power of 3 raised to the power of 1 over 2. And this equals 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 1 over 2. Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n, we multiply this out, we multiply this out, we have t power 3 times 1, that is 3 over 2, equals 3 power 3 times 1. That is 3 and this is divided by 2. Now, what we can do will be to move this over here. We have t power 3 over 2 minus 3 power 3 over 2 is equals 0. Now, at this point, I can factor out this 3 here and this 3 here. So, what I'm going to have will be t power. 3 times 1 over 2 minus 3 power 3 times 1 over 2 and this equals 0. Remember if you have a power n times n, this equals a power n all to the power of n and also this equals a power n all to the power of n. So we apply this last identity because this is like our n and this is our n. This is n and this is n. So that means I'm going to have t power, the m is now inside 1 over 2, raised to the power of 3, minus 3 power of 1 over 2, raised to the power of 3, this equals 0. And from here, don't forget that a power 1 over 2 equals square root of a. So that means this is square root of t raised to the power of 3 minus square root of 3 raised to the power of 3 equals 0. So this is power 3, this is power 3, there is minus here. We can expand using this identity. We have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b power 2 in which my a equals root t and b equals root 3. So let me do it here. a minus b, I'm going to have root t minus root 3 times a squared. I have my a is root t raised to the power of 2 plus ab root t times root 3 plus b squared root 3 raised to the power of 2 and this equals 0. So from here I have root t minus root 3 times this cancel this I have t plus root t times root 3 this is square root of 3t plus this cancel this I have 3 and this equals 0. So from here, I can move each of these to 0. I have root t minus root 3 equals 0. I also have t plus square root of 3t plus 3 equals 0. For the first one here, I move this over here. I have root t equals root 3. This cancel this. I have t equals 3. That's our t1. Now, let's consider this to solve for the other values of t. So what I can do will be to move this over here and move this over here. Then isolate this root 3t. I have root 3t equals this is negative 3 minus t. Now to eliminate the square root, 
I take this grace what the part of this equation. So from here, this cancel this. 3t equals, this is negative 3 minus t times negative 3 minus t. So from here, I have 3t equals this times this. That is 9, this times this. Plus 3t, this times this. Plus 3t, this times this. Plus t power 2. From here, I have 3t equals 9 plus 6t plus t squared. I move this over here. This is 0 equals 9 plus 60 plus t squared. This becomes minus 3t. So from here, I have 0 equals half t squared. 60 minus 3t, this is plus 3t plus 9. That means t squared plus 3t plus 9 equals 0. So, the time has come for us to solve this quadratic equation, and we need to solve it using the formula method. We have t equals negative e plus or minus square root of b squared minus or times ac divided by 2a. This is my equation of t squared. This is my p. This is my c. So from here, I have t equals negative b. That is negative 3 plus or minus square root of b squared, that is 3 power 2, minus 4 times a, that is 1 times c, that is 9, divided by 2 times a, that is 1. From here, I have t equal, this is negative 3 plus or minus square root of, this is 9 minus 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 9, that is 36, divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals negative 3 plus or minus, this is, square, this is minus 27, divided by 2. So, because of this minus, I take square root of that negative 1. t equals negative 3 plus or minus, this is square root of negative 1 times square root of 27, divided by 2. This will give us i, that is imaginary number i. Of t equals negative 3 plus or minus, this is i times square root of 27, that is 9 times 3, divided by 2. So from here, of t equals, this is negative 3 plus or minus i times square root of 9, that is 3 times root 3, divided by 2. Of t equals, I can factor of 3 over 2 of negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. So we have two complex values for t. I have t2 equals 3 over 2 times ne negative 1 plus i root 3. Then I can also have t3, this t2. Then t3 equals 3 over 2 of negative 1. This time around is minus i root 3. So these are the complex solutions that you see. Then we have one real solution, which is 3. So it's obvious that if you insert 3 right here, you are going to have the same thing, which is t equals 3, you have square root of 3 power 3, equals square root of 3 power 3. This is square root of 3 power 3, this is 27, equals square root of 3 power 3, this is 27. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye. You can as well express this as 27 is simply 9 times 3. This is square root of 9 times 3. This is square root of 9 times 3. Then square root of 9 is 3, so this is 3 root 3 equals 3 root 3.
So you may not, uh, you may see this, you know, mathematics is just playing around with numbers. So that is just it. So thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.